Well, after a decade-long career, the Infinity Q50 is officially retiring in 2024. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are enjoying the content, remember to hit the subscribe and the like button for your boy. It helps the channel grow a lot. So what is going on for you, Q50 fans? I got some bad news. The Infinity Q50 is officially retiring in 2024. It has been confirmed by Infinity themselves that they will no longer make the Q50. They are now going to be catering more to the SUV side of the company, meaning Infinity now is going to focus on building SUVs from now on. Now, you have to remember that 2014 was the official launch of the Q50, and it really hasn't changed much since then to 2024. A matter of fact, a lot of the parts are interchangeable, and the 350Z and the Q50 share pretty much the same engine, 3.7 VQ engine that everyone was a fan of was pretty much shared in the 350Z and in the Q50. Later on, the Q50 got the twin turbo V6, making 300 horsepower, around 300 horsepower. And they also got, and it also got a red model 400, which was making 400 horsepower. Now the question is, why did the popularity of, of the Q50 kind of outgrew the 350Z? And I'll tell you this, um, you have to remember that the 350Z is not all wheel drive. The 350Z is definitely, a more fun car to drive but the q50 seems to be the vehicle that you would see in a lot of takeovers that you would see a lot of people using in the takeovers now obviously in this channel we don't condone any of that stuff we don't you know we don't push any of that stuff street takeovers are illegal they're dangerous i suggest no one does it but those are the ones that mostly you saw in the street takeovers doing donuts and stuff like that now one of the key factors that i believe that brought a lot of fans towards the q50 maybe because it might have been a sedan and it has a two-door or maybe because it has that extra red model that has 400 horsepower but the all-wheel drive definitely makes a difference now there is tons of videos on youtube where you can see uh a lot of these q50s being built a lot of people put them on airbags a lot of people do a lot of mods they boost them up with the twin turbo engine which is obviously for the price tag and its category it is the fastest vehicle with that engine and it for some reason gained a lot more popularity than the 350z we also saw the 350z to be one of the drift master cars meaning a lot of people were using them for drift but you never saw a lot of q50 being drifted obviously it has a four door it obviously weighs more so hence why that didn't happen as much or you didn't see it as much. Now, in the state where I live, I live in Florida, you tend to see a lot of built three, a lot of built Infinity Q50s. And for some reason, the company has decided that 2024 is going to be the last year of the Q50. Now, again, it hasn't changed much from 2014 to 2024. And a lot of parts are definitely interchangeable. I believe that Nissan or I believe that Infinity should have definitely kept the Q50 around. I believe that the Q50 needed a lot of facial upgrades a lot of exterior upgrades that attracted a lot of the buyers because believe it or not in the last few years the q50 has pretty much blown up to be this fan favorite when it comes to nissan and since 2014 to 2024 you're almost kind of seeing the same car with a few upgrades here and there the interior is almost the same a 2024 interior with mine i have a 2014 most of the buttons are still the same and most of the buttons are still interchangeable now having that vq uh 3.7 that made a lot of power and it made very good torque so a lot of people did become a fan of it but i believe that infinity or nissan needed to give this car a bit of a fresh upgrade exterior upgrade facial upgrade because it definitely hasn't changed at all now most of the mods that people do on these vehicles is they get the front uh, carbon fiber lip they get the side skirts they get the wing they get the rear diffuser it's almost the same thing that you see on almost every vehicle and a lot of these vehicles actually get interchanged like the 2014 you i believe you could do the 2017 phase and a lot of these parts are kind of interchangeable within the same year of that car because it never got an upgrade now you might have to remember that a lot of these companies are being pushed towards ev and one of the things that nissan and infinity kind of said is like we're not doing sedans anymore on the infinity side infinity side is only going to focus on suv a decade later the infinity q50 will have its last hurrah and it's going to be 2024 with the price tag of under fifty thousand dollars somewhere in the range of like 44 to 45 without destination feeds you could definitely get pick up this vehicle that brings a v6 twin turbo so it is a pretty powerful vehicle and i wonder if we're still going to see some of the 2024s in the street racing because at least here in florida we see them and we see them a lot we see them on the track we see them on the street people use them for racing a lot 
so a decade later the infinity waves goodbye i'll read you guys in the comment if you guys are rocking with the content remember to tune in and subscribe your boy is out of here